It's Friday, July 28th, and we're getting some new insight into Apple's future plans for augmented reality. Patent details just released show Apple's vision for how someone could use either an AR headset or a mobile device to interact with points of interest. According to the patent, someone wearing an AR headset will be able to use their hands to virtually interact with their environment, sort of how we use touchscreens now. A camera on the headset would track hand position and let the wearer point and tap through the AR interface. When you really dig into this patent, there's a lot to digest, even a mention of AR's use in desktop computing. If you want to read more, check out the link below. It might look like a 40-year-old Ford Bronco, but what you're looking at is the world's first all-electric sport utility truck. The Bollinger B1 is the most utilitarian EV ever. It has a modular design, allowing it to change from four-seat SUV to a two-seat pickup, just like Broncos and Blazers of old. And because it's an EV, all of the drivetrain is below the floor. That allows for some serious storage space. It can haul a dozen 12-foot 2x4s that fit through the passageway into the 14 cubic foot trunk. Sure, it's got all the aerodynamics of a brick, but the Bollinger B1 gets a 67 mile per gallon rating and has a range of 120 miles, all while delivering 360 horsepower and 472 pound feet of torque. This is just a prototype, so price isn't set just yet, but expect to see these on the streets and trails in 2019. And finally, on the heels of last weekend's disastrous Pokemon Go Fest, a number of attendees are now suing Niantic. The festival was billed as a Pokeutopia, where trainers could catch rare Pokemon alongside 20,000 other players. Unfortunately, what ended up happening was a whole lot of frustration. Software to check people in didn't work, Wi-Fi and cellular connections were spotty at best, and the Pokemon Go app kept crashing. Most of the attendees at Pokemon Go Fest were from out of town, so the lawsuit is asking Niantic to reimburse everyone's travel expenses. This is a class action lawsuit, so anyone who attended the ill-fated event can join in. Information on that is below this video. That's it for DT Daily this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again on Monday.